Hello everyone, welcome back to Wow Wisdom. If you like this channel and the content that we discuss, then don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit on the notification bell so that you can be informed of all of our future videos to come. Now, in this video, I want to talk about why is it that caring so much stops us from manifesting what we want and bringing into our lives what we desire. And one of the main reasons that caring so much stops us from manifesting is because we begin to care more about the opinion that others have of us than the opinion that we have of our own selves. Therefore, what happens in this case scenario is that you're going to start giving more power to the opinion of others. And by doing so, their opinion, their thoughts, what they think of you and what you should be doing will become the prominent and the dominant thoughts. In other words, Basically, you are allowing their thoughts and their opinions of you to take over and become your opinions and your thoughts as well. The problem with this is that if you allow it to happen, you are allowing others to manifest for you. Why? Because their thoughts of what you they think you are or whom they think you are and what they think you should be doing will begin to become your own. So in other words, you will begin to think that maybe they are right, maybe they are correct. And you start changing your perception. You start changing what you're doing to just merge into what they want, to just please in other words. And that is not always the right thing to do. In fact, it's never the right thing to do because you should take care of yourself and you should be looking into what it is that you truly desire, what it is that you truly want, who it is that you are and then bringing that into existence, becoming the highest version of yourself and being true and completely aligned with what God has brought you here to do, with what this higher power, the universe, what you are here for is very much within you, not within others. And if you start listening to others, what they think of you, who they think that you should become based off what they think are your talents, then you are most likely going to end up derailing yourself from your true calling. And that is the reason why you are unable to manifest what it is that you want in your life. Why? Because now you're manifesting what somebody else wants for you instead. And another reason why caring so much stops us from manifesting is because we start to give out a lack mentality. In other words, when you focus constantly on that which you do not have and you take action after action after action in trying to achieve it, what the universe is going to pick up is on that sense of lack, on that sense that you don't have what you desire, but here you are trying and trying and trying. And this constant sense of trying is going to build up pressures. The problem with that is by building up pressure, you're also bringing negative emotions into the mix. Now we're putting anxieties in there, we're putting um, fear and we put in other negative emotions that in turn is going to keep the item away from us simply because you're no longer on the same vibrational level. So it becomes a chasing game where you chase after something and you're constantly changing and you're constantly chasing. And the more you chase, the problem is that the more that the item seems to be further away simply because you are not on the same vibrational level anymore. And when you notice that the item that you desire, that you're chasing, that you're constantly in pursuit of starts to move further away from you, this is when you need to stop. Just stop, realign yourself, come back to center in order to start all over again. And here's the important point. This is the key to success. Care about it only when you are working on your favorite law of attraction and manifestation technique. For example, I use scripting, and if you want a quick guide on how to script or in, on the way that I script, that brings about what I desire a lot quicker into my life, then don't forget to download my free scripting worksheet. It will be in the description box below. But coming back into the subject again, once you are only caring about the item, when you are in the process of trying to manifest it by doing one of the law of attractions and manifestation techniques, then please make sure to put in all of those good feelings, all of those good emotions to really get into it, to really 
vibrate at the same level as that item is vibrating and to hold that vibration during the whole time period that you are either scripting or doing a different law of attraction and manifestation technique but once you are done once you are done with your scripting with that technique altogether you are basically going to close the book and go about the rest of your life for the rest of the day as if nothing had happened keep holding those good thoughts those good vibrations those good feelings but do not focus on it every five minutes do not center yourself on what you want and how can you get it closer to you because if you start thinking okay an answer is going to come an answer is going to come an answer is going to come you're falling again in the same trap and then you're giving once again a lack mentality so basically what you want to do is just forget about it because when you do when an idea then pops into your head, you will immediately recognize that as being inspired action, as being a message from the universe guiding you as to what it is that you need to do in order to achieve your manifestation. And it is this idea, the one that you want to focus on and work on, because this is the inspired action idea. This is the one that is going to bring about the best results into your life. And that is it. Please beware of caring too much about what other people may think about you as well as having an obsessive focus on trying to achieve that which you desire because in both cases what you're going to end up doing is you're going to hinder your own manifestation. You're going to stop that from actually manifesting into your life. And finally, if you want to know more about manifestation and what I use in order to be able to manifest the life of my dreams and bring everything that I desire into my life a lot quicker, then don't forget to watch this video next. Thank you once again for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Until next time.